name's Mark Brandenberger. I'm with the Meldahl Hydroelectric Project for the city of Hamilton. This project is the biggest uh, construction project on the Ohio River for the biggest hydroelectric plant that will be built on the Ohio River. Uh, Hamilton has a 51.4% interest in this project. The Meldahl project is well underway. Uh, it started uh, in April of 2010 insofar as construction. The entire site uh, along the Ohio River uh, near Augusta, Kentucky has been cleared. This week down at our Meldahl site we have had uh, blasting occurring down in the excavation hole. This hole is a hundred feet deep and is probably as wide as several football fields and as you see it on the video you'll notice the uh, the great expanse it is truly vast this hole uh, is uh, circled by a coffer dam the coffer dam is built of dirt uh, and impervious clay fill that we excavated right there from the site next to the Ohio River and the coffer dam will prevent the Ohio River from coming into the site when it floods as it typically does in March, April, May. Beneath the coffer dam there is a cutoff slurry wall trench. We dug a trench uh, all the way around this several football field uh, perimeter and the trench is filled with a cement bentonite solution that hardens to the consistency of say royal pudding. Um, that keeps the water from flowing underground into our 100 foot deep hole. What we're showing you today is a video of uh, an explosion that occurred. This is a regulated explosion. We prepared the area with dynamite and we are digging into the bedrock with line drilling and production drilling and then slipping dynamite down the hole. We then excavate the uh, uh, exploded material from the hole to make it even deeper. The whole reason for this is the powerhouse for our hydroelectric project sits uh, underneath the river. Uh, the actual top of the powerhouse is submersible. So if the river rises more than three feet above the top of our powerhouse, it submerges the powerhouse. And that's the way it's supposed to be. It's going to go down fairly deep into the bedrock. We will then pour the powerhouse foundation and the concrete for the, uh, the powerhouse walls and the hydroelectric turbines will be uh, set into this powerhouse. The river channel uh, will be dug that will allow the water to flow through the powerhouse, turn the turbines, create the electricity and back out uh, a discharge channel down the tail race back into the river. There will be three big turbines in this powerhouse and they will generate a, a, a total of 105 megawatts of electricity. Our plant on 3rd Street is probably about oh, 115, 120. So this is, a, this is a big deal. There's a concrete piece that is sticking into the side of, the, uh, of this punch bowl, this excavation site, and this concrete piece is the tail end of the Meldahl Lock and Dam. The Meldahl Lock and Dam was built so that the uh, concrete portion of the dam actually stuck right into the uh, riverbank's side and we have exposed that. As these blasts are occurring, we put a seismograph uh, on that, that concrete piece, which is called a weir, uh, to measure how much that weir is moving or, or isn't moving, and in our case it isn't. Uh, and that tells us whether uh, we have uh, uh, exceeded our seismographic uh, uh, restriction. We have not, uh, and everything is, uh, is going along smoothly. From what I've been told, the authorities that monitor for uh, earthquakes, I believe it might be in Atlanta, perhaps it's the National Weather Service, I'm not sure, uh, but whatever authority that is, uh, knows when we're blasting. First of all, we tell them, and secondly, they can uh, actually register the blast on their uh, seismographic equipment. So even small little jolts uh, uh, show up uh, on uh, national patterns. 
We have turned the site over to the powerhouse construction contractor. That uh, turnover uh, occurred on uh, August the 9th. We turned it over from the contractor who dug the hole. This is a 100-foot deep hole. Uh, we started out at an elevation of 510. We're now down to 410, and we're going to probably go another 25 to 40 feet deeper into the bedrock than we are right now. This entire project is budgeted to cost uh, approximately $500 million, and we're intending to keep that within budget. The expensive portion of the uh, powerhouse project will be, of course, the concrete walls that we're about to pour, and the even more expensive portion will be putting the turbines uh, into the powerhouse after the walls are up and the foundation is laid. So. That is all done before the roof is put on, and uh, we have just begun that stage of the contract. Uh, we will show you a couple of photos here of how the site looked as of a year or more ago when the, la when the ground was totally flat. You'll see uh, a little road leading back to uh, a fishing pier. That fishing pier uh, was the weir of the uh, dam. Now we have d uh, prepared a new road that leads down to a beach where uh, fishermen and fisher women and children can come and uh, fish when we're not doing blasting. We have kept the temporary road open for recreation purposes down there and the Corps of Engineers is very uh, uh, excited about uh, that. I think that's probably as much as I've got to tell you right now. If anybody has any questions about uh, our situation at Meldahl or how the project is coming, I would encourage you to give me a call. You can reach me at my office uh, at 785-7006, or you can reach me uh, on the city cell phone at 616-3948, and I'll be happy to try to answer any of your questions. <music>